It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Fuller's Smith & Turner and it's a bottle of their ESB Champion Ale coming in at 5.9% ABV in a 500 milliliter bottle. It's a multiple award winning beer. ESB stands for Extra Special Bitter. There's a look at the bottle cap. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening, beer in the glass then. Now legends will tell you, or the legend will tell you, that's the best way to, to, to say this paragraph, is that this beer will change. If you have a new bottle of this, a relatively freshly brewed beer, it will be very hoppy, quite zingy in the aroma. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but if you get an aged bottle of this, apparently there's a touch of apple that comes through in the aroma and taste. Just how the beer develops over time, apparently. So when was this beer brewed? I picked this up in Waitrose in Cowbridge and it was oh yeah it has a best before of the 1st of December 2020 so it's March 2020 now so we're talking 10 months left, nine months left on the before this beer goes off so let, let's let's look at the beer first Amber in colour, slow moving carbonation. It's got a very small one finger white head. Clarity's good. It's clear. It wouldn't, it wouldn't matter these days if it was hazy, would it? The world we live in, the beer world we live in, is all haze for days and, and crazy hazy beers, which, which I love. I, I, I love. Let's get the aroma. Yeah. For me, I'm picking up a big multi backbone. A real big multi backbone on this beer. Spicy, peppery, but multi. Like a crunchy husk of fresh bread. Fresh wholemeal bread. And a lovely kind of, I'd say, almost plummy, plummy kind of tart aroma. Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh yeah, that, that is nice, that is a nice beer, it really is, it's just got that kind of quality to it. it, for me you could drink London Pride, you could drink it and, and then have another pint and another pint type of session beer, but a beer like this of 5.9% ABV, it's more of a it's in between, it's not their Vintage Ale, and it's not their London Pride. It's in the middle. You could probably drink two or three of these rather than the four, five, six of the Fuller's London Pride that you might typically, typically tuck away. Or, or the one bottle of the Vintage Ale that, that you would crack out. Off the top of my head, I think Vintage Ale is about 9%, I think, 9, 10%, something in that region. Yeah, this is a real sit next to the fire, fire's crackling. 
years ago I would have said grab the newspaper and read the newspaper next to the fire with your with your full as yes be but not anymore it's more kind of read the the news from your tablet or your or your mobile phone these days it, it, the world has changed so much so quickly in the year we're reviewing this in the year 2020 as I mentioned earlier Yeah, a real husk of of brown grainy wholemeal bread comes through. Spicy, peppery, hoppy, tart like it's like plum like flavours coming through. So I would suggest that it's it's still relatively fr fresh in terms of the hops coming through on the beer. It's got a nice balance to it between that pardon me that sweetness of the malt and the bitterness of the hops on the back end. Mm. A real sipper. A real sip. Sip back, contemplate, enjoy. Yeah. And have a look now. I'm using my Fuller's glass. Oh. Why not? I'm drinking a Fuller's beer. So as you just rock the beer back and forth, you can see that carbonation chasing the head of the glass there. Nice lacing on the glass. It's a beautifully presented beer. And, and for me, I reviewed this. The reason why I'm reviewing it again, this is the second time I've reviewed this beer, is that the first time I've re reviewed it with another blogger, another YouTuber, and we did it back in the day where there was no kind of FaceTime or no video conference call and we could record so we were literally I was recording my my monitor at the time and he he was in America drinking it and I was over here it was all a bit messy so I thought I would bring out um, a, an up-to-date 4k video for you of full as a ESB but it was a good 10 years ago the last time I drank this beer. Now another thing I'm looking at on the back of this bottle is that last year um, Fuller's were purchased by Asahi. Now this hasn't got the Asahi name on the back. It's it's brewed by Fuller's Smith and Turner PLC at the Griffin Brewery, Chiswick Lane, South London, uh, which has been the, the, the case for does it say 1845 yes yeah, so they've been bought up by a, a, a Japanese company um, I've got my fingers crossed that everything stays the same it's all good it's still 5.9 percent ABV in years to come they leave things alone they leave fullers to do what they do which is brew good beer I hope it stays the same um, it's been brewed with uh, North Down Hops Target Challenger and Goldins to give a big multi smooth full body beer bursting with marmalade fruitness throughout. You can either call it marmalade or it, what I say is, because we're all different, I call it a, a, a tartness on there, like a, like, a, like a mixed fruit jam I like to say. It's a, as I mentioned earlier, it's an award winning, a multi award winning beer. I think it's time we rate it out of 10. Beautiful beer, then from Fuller's ESB Extra Special Bitter. Here we go. It's a beer that stands the test of time. If I travel anywhere, I go through London Paddington, there's a Fuller's pub at London Paddington, if I have time I pop in, I have a half or a pint. Same as when I go and visit my father-in-law down in Salisbury, there's a Fuller's pub called the Butcher's Arms I believe it's called, in the middle of Salisbury, big old pub, they've got the whole Fuller's range on. If there's nothing in Salisbury that I like, I'll go in the Fuller's pub, I'll either drink London Pride or Chiswick Bitter or, or an ESB or one of their porters or, you know, 
something decent, and you know, you know, and this is what I hope. This is what I hope Asahi understand. You know, you're going to get a level of quality from their beer, a certain level of quality. So I'm going to rate it, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10, it's a 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. If you like what you see, please comment, please subscribe. Okay. Pardon me, that one's for free. Give us a big fat thumbs up, hit the notification bell for future uploads. Boom! Cheers!